With Aston Villa having ambitions to break up the dominance of the Premier League's so-called Big Six on a regular basis, key to the growth required to help bridge the financial gap will be just how effectively the club can cut through in the United States. Villa owners Wes Edens, through his part ownership of the Milwaukee Bucks NBA team, and Nassef Soares, through his shareholding in Madison Square Garden Sports, the parent company of the New York Knicks and New York Rangers, will be well versed on the direction of travel for sports fandom in North America. With the addition of capital and expertise from Ateros, the club is positioning itself for a run at competitive success in the coming years, something that will, in turn, yield greater financial returns. For decades the main focus of artists from outside the US was to crack America. That hasn't really gone the way, for those who do manage to gain relevance, platform, and popularity in the land of the stars and stripes can be sure to be bestowed with plenty of riches. Read more, Rebuilding Villa, the four people NSWE have tasked with taking club to next level. Read more, John Townley's notebook, V Sports Appointment, Watkins Transfer Advice and Villa Contract Confirmed. Football is now where music was, and America is a willing consumer of European soccer, and in a big way. While the domestic league of the MLS may still have some way to go, even if the Lionel Messi effect at Inter Miami has helped raise the profile to a level not seen since David Beckham joined LA Galaxy back in 2007, the Premier League is resonating with the US audience. Broadcasters see this trend, and with the FIFA World Cup heading stateside in 2026 there is a unique opportunity for clubs to get a foothold in the American market and appeal to a mass, English-language audience with disposable income. Like five of the big six, Villa will be heading out to the U.S. this summer, taking in friendlies with Columbus crew in Columbus, Ohio, before a game against Bundesliga side RB Leipzig in Harrisburg, New Jersey. It will be a chance for Villa to showcase their wares to a U.S. audience at a crucial time, with the potential of a 39th game seeming closer than it has been for more than 15 years. It is an idea that has been kicked around for many a year. At a shareholder meeting of 20-member Premier League clubs back in February 2008 the idea was proposed, and supported by a number of prominent club owners that a 39th game would arrive on the calendar of English football's top tier. At a time when the Premier League and English Football Association chose to ignore the views of the wider football pyramid and do away with replays in the FA Cup from the first round proper onwards, with the stresses and strains of such a demanding schedule at the top one of the chief reasons for doing so, the idea of a 39th game now seems laughable.